You remember when COVID-19 first arrived, going to do something as routine as getting a haircut wasn't allowed. A Frankfurt High School student turned his long hair into a positive, though. Now he's hoping his style will prove to be a cut above the rest. LEX 18's Michael Burke has more in this Positively LEX 18. Frankfurt High Schooler Josh Scott has entered himself into a contest. And I'm second place out of the 80. I think I'm only... Uh, somewhere, I think a little less than 100 behind some other kid. Should he win the USA Mullet Championships, there's money in it for him. Josh started growing it two and a half years ago. With big plans in mind for the cash prize, he's really hoping not to lose by a hair. There's going to be $1,000, and I plan on giving some of that to my church. They've always been, uh, church has been real good to me. Pastor Gary Hager is a really good man. But the inspiration came from the best man he knows. Might even say Josh is the heir apparent. My mom said no at first, but then uh, I found some pictures of my dad with a mullet and I said, well, you know, what about this? What about this? She said, okay, I guess you can get one. And as his hair has continued to grow over the last two and a half years, his mother has conditioned herself to love Josh's appearance. To those who don't, Josh says, they can buzz off. A lot of people like it. Some people tell me to cut it all the time. A lot of people tell me to cut it. A lot of people tell me to keep it. And uh, I, I keep it. I don't listen to them. And should his mullet come up short of the grand prize this year? Well, that's easy. Just rinse and repeat. A win or lose, um, maybe I'll keep it and go next year if I lose. Regardless, the winner will be determined by votes rather than a judge's opinion. So we know there'll be no splitting hairs over this result. In Frankfurt, for this Positively LEX 18, I'm Michael Burke. And he's not the only marvelous mullet in Kentucky. There are six other people competing in the competition as well. We have all of them on our website, lex18.com. It's there right now, along with links to their pictures and a link to vote.